Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make flasks uh, a simple way, a way that works really well. I'm making a small square flask, so all my cuts are going to be exactly the same. First of all, I'm going to square off which is the, the edge of the boards that I'm using. I'm using 2x4s. Then I'm going to put a stop on my chop saw so that they will all be the same size. I'm making my flask 4 inch square. So I'm going to go this plus an inch and a half. So that would make it 5 and a half inches. Put a stop there. So now all I have to do is butt my lumber and cut. Okay, so I need eight pieces total. And the final flask is going to look like this. The next thing to do is drill two holes in here so I can put screws in it. If you want to, you can use a three-quarter inch piece of wood to mark the um, center of where you're going to put the screws. Okay, here we are ready to drill the holes. Now we're ready to screw them together. I was going to put a clamp on here. I put a board, just a flat board on the top and bottom. I was going to put a clamp on here to hold it together so that the sides, the outer edges would be nice and um, flat. But I realized I don't have a 5 inch clamp. So I found a chunk of metal. And that will hold it together. Fine. I got some four inch screws, <laughs> which is plenty. Guess these flasks aren't going anywhere. And I got a cordless screwdriver.
Okay, now I'm going to put some strips of wood in here so that the cope and drag will fit together and that the, um, so when you take them apart you can put them back together in the same spot. Okay, now I'm going to put the guides on, and the way I do it is I put a piece of wood that's going to go down over both of the of the flasks, and then on the on the drag, I'll put a piece on each side for it to slide into. So it's pretty simple, but pretty effective. So we'll go ahead and do that. Be a good idea to keep that pretty square. But it's probably not that critical to be perfect. Okay, there we go. Now we'll see if they come apart. Oh yeah. Slide together nice and tight. And it comes apart. I could put a little bevel on these two to help them go in a little easier. I did, I have done that in the past, and that would definitely be a good idea. Okay, stay tuned, and you'll see these in action.